Hey all, Space Colonizer here. The main purpose of this video is to introduce people to a new version of Messin developed by 3Creepio. But first I wanted to give a quick thank you to all the moderators out there that have said they wouldn't ban Messin thanks to my run-ahead detection video, or have reversed their Messin bans in response to it. Link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. The most high-profile games to reverse their bans were the Ninja Gaiden games. Hopefully we'll see some more unbans as time goes on. Messin is a good emulator, and I'm glad that people are realizing that banning it just because it has a particular feature is wrong. However, even though use of the runhead feature can be detected, and even though I don't think Messin should be banned, I also recognize that being a speedrun moderator isn't a paying gig. We have other stuff to do in our lives. Even if detecting runahead is a simple matter on most submissions, it does have the potential to slow down the run acceptance process, which would be a particular problem for games that receive a high volume of submissions. Thankfully, there is an alternative. Introducing Messin RTA. Messin RTA was developed by 3Creepio with the goal of making a version of Messin that could give game moderators extra confidence when approving a one without sacrificing its high accuracy emulation. It was made in consultation with some of the Super Mario Brother community's moderation team, focusing on their concerns, but the benefits are by no means unique to those games. So let's have a look at some of these changes. Once we get our ROM loaded, there are a couple of things that people familiar with standard Messin will notice right away. The first thing I want to talk about is this text that appears at the bottom, which appears whenever a ROM is loaded, reset, or power cycled. The first bit of info is the version number of Messin RTA that you're currently using. Having this appear on a reset is convenient for submissions to any games that require you to confirm your emulator version. Next, the text confirms the current region setting and then identifies if the ROM is being loaded, reset, or power cycled. Then there's this alphanumeric sequence. This is called an SHA1 hash and can be used to confirm that a person is using an appropriate ROM and that the ROM has not been altered. This safeguards against the use of ROM hacks and similar shenanigans. The other change that's immediately obvious is the new input display, which has been merged with a frame counter into a single object, which uses up less real estate. Additionally, the frame count will turn red during lag frames or dead frames to further help confirm that the game is operating as it's supposed to. The display cannot be turned off, but you can still change which corner it's in. It's in the bottom left by default, but I moved it to the right for this video so it wouldn't overlap with the startup text. This new input display has some other nifty features as well. If you activate a cheat in the cheat editor, such as a Game Genie code, the input display will be colored green. Under emulation settings, the run head option has been removed, and if the emulator speed gets adjusted, there will be an icon showing if the speed is faster or slower than normal speed. These icons will also appear when a rewind or fast forward feature is being used. If the overclocking settings are adjusted, this green arrow will also appear and the input display will be colored a reddish brown. This coloring to the input display also occurs when a movie file is being played or if any of the debug windows are open. And that's about it. More changes might be made in the future and an SNES version is now available with pretty much the same array of enhancements. I hope I'm not going too far by claiming that Messin RTA is the most reliable option for run verification purposes. Game moderators should encourage its use, and players should use it to help make those moderators' jobs easier. Messin RTA is currently the only version of Messin permitted for Super Mario Bros. 1 runs, which is understandable given that they receive a high volume of submissions compared to other games. Over in the Super Dodgeball community, the moderators are encouraging the use of Messin RTA in addition to allowing the standard version of Messin, which I think is awesome. Personally, I will be using Messin RTA whenever permitted and will promote its use on the games I moderate. I see no reason why it wouldn't be allowed for any game already allowing standard Messin, but you might want to check first and consider showing this video to your moderators for educational purposes. If your moderators still have a ban on Messin, check to see if Messin RTA alleviates their concerns. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the leaderboards.